South Korea and Japan have condemned North Korea's latest missile launch, with Seoul expressing strong regret and Tokyo calling it a threat to regional peace. And South Korea's military says Pyongyang fired two missiles from a site in North Pyongan province. That's a region bordering China. Pyongyang had warned that it would take stronger action after the United States imposed sanctions on six North Koreans involved in the country's missile development program. Lim yun suk tells us more. Just hours after issuing a warning to the United States, North Korea appeared to have carried out its threat by test-firing missiles. It's the third by North Korea in just two weeks. Last Tuesday, North Korea test-launched a ballistic missile with a speed exceeding Mach 10, which experts say shows that North Korea is advancing its weapons development program, even during this COVID-19 pandemic and stalled talks with the United States and South Korea. Following that test, Pyongyang's second hypersonic test this year, the Biden administration imposed its first sanctions on North Korea. These sanctions target six North Koreans, one Russian, and a Russian firm Washington believes are responsible for procuring goods for the programs from Russia and China. Washington also proposed that five of these individuals be blacklisted by the United Nations Security Council. North Korea, which says the tests were part of its efforts to modernize its national defense capability, shot back in a warning early Friday morning, denouncing that proposal and warning of stronger and certain reaction, though it did not elaborate on what that could be. The Unification Ministry in Seoul did not comment on North Korea's warning, but vowed to continue efforts to provide humanitarian assistance to North Korea. 또한 인도주의 협력과 관련해서는 제재로 인해 북한 주민에 대한 인도적 협력에 장애가 초래되어서는 안 된다는 것이 미국 유엔을 비롯한 국제 사회에도 폭넓은 공감대가 형성되어 있습니다. Critics have denounced President Moon Jae-in's pro-engagement policy towards North Korea despite the latest provocations. 우리 대한민국 말이죠. 여전히 대화 타령에만 매달리고 있어요. 청와대든 통일부든 그리고 국방부는 아직까지도 극초음속 미사일이다. 이런 말을 안 쓰고 여전히 탄도 미사일이다. 그래서 김정은을 자극할까 봐서 쩔쩔매는 대한민국의 국방 안보 당국이다. Analysts believe North Korea will be carrying out more tests in the coming days and weeks, with some saying there could be other provocative actions too, especially if the UN Security Council thus places more fresh sanctions on Pyongyang. Lim Yang Sook, CNA, Seoul.